Maybe it's because it's fall time or maybe it's just because I'm pregnant. I am slightly obsessed with casseroles right now and I'm so excited to share my favorites with you. Now these recipes that I'm making today actually come from our family friendly meal plan. Now we're doing a seven day free trial. If you want to try out our meal plan, I'll put a link down below for you. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. But if you just want the casseroles, that is why I'm here. Let's just jump right in. So the first recipe I'm making is called cowboy casserole with tater tots. All right, for this recipe, you're gonna need some tater tots. I cut up an onion, we have some spices, I'll put those down below in the description for you. One pound of ground beef, milk, corn, cream of mushroom soup, sour cream, and last but not least, some cheese. The first thing you're gonna do is cook your ground beef and onion together. Now, I kinda cheated and I cooked this already so you wouldn't have to watch me do it. So once your meat is all heated through, we're gonna add one can of corn that I have drained, and then the can of cream of mushroom soup. All right, then we're just gonna mix this together a little bit. Now, if you want to, make sure you drain your ground beef just so you can get rid of some of that grease. Okay, to this, you're gonna add half a cup of sour cream, one half cup of milk, and then about a half cup of cheese. I like to add a little bit more. And then just mix this all together. And don't forget the seasonings. We have garlic powder, onion powder, and salt and pepper. All right, then you're gonna take your cheesy beef mixture and put it into the bottom of a nine by 13 pan. Go ahead and spread that all around. Next, we're gonna add on the tater tots. Now you just wanna make sure they are a single layer, so you're gonna have to spread them out a little bit. All right, so let's try that, see how it goes. Try and squeeze in as many as we can. Then you're gonna sprinkle about half a cup to a cup of cheddar cheese just on top of the tater tots. Now you wanna preheat your oven to 375 and we're gonna cook it for 25 to 30 minutes. Next up is our zesty pizza casserole. Now if you have picky eaters, I promise you, they'll eat this one. We're gonna start with some rotini pasta, then some delicious ground beef. We have an onion and a green pepper. Now we like pepperoni. If you wanna use ham or something like that, you can, but we're doing pepperoni today. Um, some mozzarella cheese, of course. We like mushrooms, sliced mushrooms. Then you have some seasoning and then some delicious pizza sauce. Okay, so we're gonna start by cooking the pasta in the Instant Pot. We're gonna dump in three cups of rotini pasta. Okay, now the secret when cooking pasta is that you want to cover all of the pasta with water. You don't want any sticking up, because if some are sticking up, they're gonna be crispy. Now if you don't have an Instant Pot, you just cook your noodles over the stove. So go ahead and put your lid on. Make sure your little knob is turned to ceiling. Then we're gonna push pressure cook and just go down to four minutes. Woohoo, all right, let's cook the beef. All right, first you're gonna add one pound of ground beef. And now I'm just gonna add my onions and my peppers right now too. And I have my handy dandy chop and stir and we're just gonna cook this until all the meat is browned. All right, once this is all done cooking, we're gonna add two cans of six ounces of pizza sauce. Then we're just gonna add one can of sliced mushrooms, so about four ounces. We got some seasoning in here down below in the description. I'll tell you all the seasonings. And then I have about four ounces of pepperoni. Now I cut them into little pieces just cause you don't want a big bite of pepperoni. All right, pasta is all done cooking. I'm gonna put this little guy on and we're gonna drain it. All right, now we're just gonna dump the pasta into our pizza sauce. And then just mix this all around. Okay, so you have a few options here. Now, you can just leave it in the skillet, put a little cheese on top, let it melt, and it's pretty much done. Or you can put it in a casserole dish and bake it in the oven to let it melt. So either one, it doesn't matter, they're both delicious. So I did half and half, so I have a little pan that we're gonna save for later. I'm gonna put cheese on it. We're gonna cook it right now, just pretty much until that cheese is melted and everything is cooked all the way through. Or if you're gonna you know, keep it on the stove top, just add a little bit of cheese. If you could put the lid on it, it will melt that cheese so quickly. I love this recipe because you can have it right now or for later. The next recipe is our loaded nacho casserole. So for this recipe, I cut up a little onion, a green pepper, then we have lots of canned things. So we have two cans of diced tomatoes, 
one can of black beans, one can of pinto beans, some corn, eight ounces of tomato sauce, some taco seasoning, and then four ounces of diced green chilies. Those are the canned things. Then we have some chips, some cheddar cheese, and then last but not least, some ground beef. Now, if you don't want to use ground beef in these recipes, you can also use ground turkey too. All right, we're gonna start with our ground beef or ground turkey, whatever you choose. And then again, I'm just gonna add my peppers and onions. You guys, we like peppers and onions today because lots of recipes with them. Then we're just gonna chop up our meat and cook it up. All right, meat is cooked, vegetables are soft. We are ready to move on. So I'm gonna add the two cans of diced tomatoes, the liquid is still in them. Now this sauce is gonna be a little thin, but that's okay, that's how we want it. Next we're gonna add one can of pinto beans and one can of black beans. Then I drained my can of corn, that's going on top. You guys, this is, this is like a tower. I'm enjoying myself right now. Then your tomato sauce and your diced green chilies. Okay, I think that's everything. We're gonna mix this all together. Oh wait, oh wait, we need some seasoning. So we're gonna, just gonna add our taco seasoning. Oof. All right, now we can mix it. This looks so colorful, I love it. Now we're gonna put the lid on and let it simmer for about 20 minutes on low heat. While that is simmering, we're gonna get this ready. So I'm gonna take some chips and kind of just crunch them. We want a, a little bit of a layers going on here. All right, just gonna crunch those down so it's kind of flat. Okay, we're ready. So it's been about 20 minutes. Now, like I said before, it's a little liquidy. That's okay, you can drain if you want to, but I like it with the liquid. So we're gonna leave this in and then yeah, put it on our chips. So I'm gonna use a ladle because I figure it just works better that way. And we're just going to use half of our meat mixture onto the bottom of this. Now we're gonna do another layer of chips. I'm gonna crunch them a little bit before I put them on. Okay, then we're gonna press down a little bit and get ready for the next. This is getting very full, so make sure you really do use a nine by 13 pan. If not, you can just use two little pans. That'll work too. All right, now we're gonna add on the cheese. Guys, I am so excited for this one. So excited. Oh guys, this is heavy. We're gonna cook it 350, 20 minutes, woo! Just wanna show you these layers that look so delicious. Now the last recipe I'm making is chicken teriyaki casserole. This casserole is a little bit healthier. For this recipe, you'll need about three chicken breasts, six cups of your favorite stir fry. I just like to get the frozen kind. Now I asked for quinoa. I like to use this that cooks in 90 seconds. It's probably one of my favorite things. Then we have some spices, some cornstarch, a half cup of brown sugar, soy sauce, and then a little bit of water. All right, so first we're gonna start by heating up our saucepan. We're gonna add one cup of soy sauce. Then to that we're gonna add three fourths cup of water, half cup of brown sugar, and then we have some garlic and ground ginger that we're just gonna put in there. All right, let's mix this all around until it boils. Okay, so why we're gonna wait for that to boil, we're gonna add two tablespoons of cornstarch. <laughs> Ignore the little giggles in the back. And then two tablespoons of water. We're just gonna mix this together while we wait for that to boil. Okay, this is boiling, so we're gonna add our little mixture in here. Okay, once you add it in, mix it in, we wanna take this off the heat. In like a nine by 13 pan, this is a little smaller, but it will still work. You're gonna spray the bottom of your pan with nonstick cooking spray. And we're just gonna lay the chicken onto the bottom of the pan. Then we're just gonna pour the sauce over top of the chicken. Oh, that looks good. And then bake it at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Okay, now you can shred this with two forks, but I'm actually just gonna take it out and cut it into bite-sized pieces. Okay, so now we're just gonna add everything back in. So I'm gonna put in my chicken, and then we have about four to six cups of vegetables, and these are frozen. I'll just pour those on top. And then I cooked the quinoa just because it makes my life so much easier. And we're gonna put this packet in there. And then carefully, carefully stir it around. Now, if you used a nine by 13 pan, this should be a little easier. Mine's just a little bit smaller, but that's okay. All right, we are pretty mixed up good here. So we're gonna cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes until the vegetables are cooked all the way through. 
Oh, this one might be my favorite one yet. Now, if you loved these casseroles and you need some, I don't know, dessert ideas, you can find some of our no-bake desserts right up there. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.